Hi Kiwi, I am back. I have stretched my legs and I have gotten an extra cushion for my seat to hopefully help with my sore tushy. In the meantime, coming back, I found that we've got some very pleasant music playing in the background. Perhaps not as memorable as some of, memorable as some of the other songs, particularly the ones with lyrics, but you know, still very nice. Very soothing, kind of windy, wispy, voidy, empty space vibe to me. With a bit of whimsy to it. But, uh... I always found it so interesting how, like, you and I, when we listen to music, listen to effectively different parts. We hear different things. Taurus, you're very, you visit every part of New World. Oh, cool. So we we must have just filled in the map. Yeah, look at that. All right, I assume you're just a trainer, because you don't look nearly as cool as the other guy. But do we have anything over here worth exploring before I go fighting you? All right. So one of you guys are Captain Cody, and the other is not, I guess. I'm inclined to think the guy that we saw at the very right most area is Captain Cody. So, let's see. What a party are we going to use? Gooby, Tooby, Bonavin. I think let's switch Pomadier back in here. Alright. Anything I want to do before we engage in combat? Is there anything down there? Obviously, there's something. I think I see a chest. I'm going to go check it out. Frozen ground massively raises the user's speed, but lowers their accuracy. Probably a way to gimmick that a bit. This wall could be traversed with the pumpkin vine ball ability in order to reach that ledge. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay. Ah. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can do it, I can do it. Just barely not. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm sure there are other ways to get up there. And plenty of chests that we apparently missed. Alright, sticky spray, we saw before that can be pretty effective. Um, we caught our ice packer before. We have to keep an eye out for fusion monsters, because it seems like the fusion swarms and fusion, rogue fusions tend to give us a new monster in each area, so... I wonder if I can reach that. I could probably reach it if I platform off the tree. Oh, you know what? I don't have to. I can just platform off of this. There we go. Sandstorm hits the whole team, reduces the target's remaining status effect durations by one. So that could be really good if your opponent is stacking status buffs, or buffing themselves, I guess. Alright, um... Alright, so let's go fight these trainers real quick, and or not trainers, but you, you know what I mean. These, uh, whatever these are. Hey. hey, it's a nice view from up here, isn't it? Taurus, they are Taurus. I was going to try to get to the very top of the mountain, but I can't quite scale the cliffs up ahead, and the walkways in the cave have all collapsed. If I could soar like an avoir, maybe I could make it. Say, uh, say, fancy a quick scrap before I glide down to the lake? Alright, Mothmanic and Ice Peck with... Okay, he's got Magnetism, so I have to fight him first. And we'll do Charge. Even if I have to attack you first, doesn't mean I'm going to choose to attack you first. Yeah, I knew he was going to intercept, but... I'm just, I just wanted to be needless, needlessly pedantic. I guess we just focus him down. I'm rather glad that the thing that has ridiculously high melee attack and has a stat boost on its melee damage has chosen not to attack us. Oh, you, you must be another Draculeaf. Another Revolve. This must be a remastered form of Jumpkin. I like this one. It's silly. His little leaf is like a comb over. It's cute. But unfortunately for him, here I actually have type advantage, so. Really? That smack did nothing. I would expect I expected it to do a lot more damage. Uh yay, more unit target. Looking forward to missing half my attacks now. Uh 
Well, I think Superheated Fist will knock that out. We'll just do a spit here. I'll save up enough AP to use Pustle Bomb on the next turn. Bombardier is hurting a bit. I should probably switch him out, but I don't want to. Uh, hmm. No, I'm still units. I, I'm no longer locked in, so I'll go ahead and try and attack that, and we'll try and get the Pustle Bomb off. I spec really hasn't done much, but of course it chooses to attack Bombardier. Unlucky. But it's, it's fine, we should knock this guy out on the next turn, and I'll just go heal up afterwards. Here, let's let Pogo Johnson have a moment to shine. And by shine, I mean clean up the mess if I don't actually take it out with uh, Zoomies here. Which I did, so Pogo Johnson gets nothing, which is not a surprise. He's just, but he's just happy to be there. He's happy to be included. That's what Pogo Johnson's all about. He, he's a bouncy, happy boy. Right. Right, time for me to get going then. Have fun! Bye! Alright, well, back to the campfire, I guess. It's never a good look to immediately just almost <laughs> die. Thank you. Thank you. This moment of rest has not gone unappreciated, Jeff. Viola seems sweet. I know it's a very superficial reason, but it probably would... I probably would like to... Uh, she was from a Midsummer Night's Dream, right? Assuming I said the na the title right, which I very much could have gotten wrong. But if that's the case, it might be worth exploring her, uh... Stay frosty! Hey hey! Um, it might be worth exploring that, uh, story. Even if, it's a, even if it's a superficial connection, I mean, it doesn't hurt to... It certainly doesn't hurt to experience a little bit more Shakespeare in my lifetime, you know? Uh, we'll go double smack and then flame. Alright, almost took it out on the first turn, so let's try and knock it out with the zoomies. And then do whatever else da what other whatever more damage we can do after that with in flame. Probably won't knock out his red health. We need low tat for that. Look, Dad just does so much. How did you get healing steam? You're not a water type right now. I call him nonsense, but it's it's fine. Healing steam only works if you have enough uh, HP to heal. Anyway. Well, looks like you'll actually heal this turn, but oh well. Or maybe not. We'll see. Yeah. That's fine, but another Zoomies might take you out before you get the chance, so... All good for me. Cool. Okay. Zoomies is finally being useful, after all this time of having it. Metal Riff. Hits a whole team, becomes an air-type when used to, when equipped with Metal-type. It's a ranged-type attack, so not really useful for me there. I lost my cool. <laughs> Alright. So I think all that remains is that cave that we saw in the summit, and then also the um, the captain. So let's do the captain first, and then we'll explore the cave. Camp here, yes. Rest. So you mean to tell me that in your realm, traveling from one country to another takes hours and not days? Could such a thing be possible? I daren't even imagine it. We really do take for granted how much our public transport systems are, like, so far and away improved from what they used to be. It's it's pretty wild. Um, like, the amount of advancement in, in transportation technology alone that we've accomplished. Oh, there's a spring heel. Hey, a Riptera, okay. This is gonna be scary. I, I still have PTSD from that, uh... From that Landkeeper's, uh... 
fight, second to last fight with them. Um, Alright. I think I'm gonna have Jeff set up a firewall and Pombadier will do it in a flame. Okay, at least Stab in the Dark actually only has a 10% chance of landing right now, so yeah, if it lands, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. But the chance is fairly low. We'll drop a chrome tape on you, and we will fight with Inflame. Cool. Alright, that bumps us up pretty solid. That's an A. That's an A in my book. Alright, there we go, Riptera. The anatomy of the Riptera is not easily described. It barely has a body to speak of, instead more of a tangled web of claw-tipped limbs haphazardly bound together beneath a stained trench coat and hat. Sounds spooky. Yeah, okay, that makes... I think this is the guy we give that gimmick build I thought up of. Uh, thought up. If I can steal a sticker from a Margusia... Or, or, I, I don't know why I pronounce it weird. It's, it's Margusia. It's obviously Margusia. Or maybe it's not Mardiosa, Mardi, Mardiosa, because it's it's Mardi Gras with Mar Medusa, so I, I don't, yeah, Medusa doesn't normally have the eye there, so maybe it is Mardiosa. But I'm going to still pronounce it weird every time. I also didn't nickname that, so we'll have to fix that later. Um, Alright, that must be the captain. How am I doing on HP? Eh, good enough, let's go for it. Well, that rock is just gone. <laughs> Huh. Captain Cody, you came a long way just to see me, huh? They call me Cody. They call me Cody because I used to code. Well, I used to break code. Anything in the information space can be cracked if you're smart enough. Websites, video games, government secrets. <laughs> I got in a little trouble for that last one. But here on New World, there's no internet here. What a joke. The only thing here for me to hack are these monster tapes. It turns out I'm pretty good at that too, which is why I'm a ranger Come captain. On. Come on, I bet you're desperate to see my modded cassette tapes. Are you going to take my ranger captain challenge or what? So maybe he runs bootlegs or something. Right. I hope you're prepared to go head to head with com com with the combat master. All right, let's see what you got, you're Captain Cody, the tape hacker. Oh, it's a glitter type. Okay, actually, that's pretty sparkly. Now, if I recall, um, base level arcade is just really fast and doesn't have much to go on, and apocalypse also is just kind of uh, really fast. But. Glitter types will turn all other types into glitter, so... I think they take... Could I be... I might be mistaken, but hold on. Okay, so glitter types become the type that hits them. <clears throat> so... I don't think that really changes my strategy here very much. Thing. For now, let's just focus on. Let's take out Apocalypse while I can, because if it starts launching Pustral Bombs, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to save up AP to launch a Pustral Bomb on my own, though. Cody is still glitter type. I am glass type, and I have to be careful of anything that causes resonance, because that will uh, that'll be a legit problem. But for now, I still maintain that we focus on taking out Apocalypse, uh, and we'll drop a Pustule Bomb to poison everyone. Plus, if that turns Cody into a poison type, I can ignite him. Yeah, this, uh... I can probably fix the resonance issue if I get glitter on myself. And as it is, uh, I'm pretty sure Pombadier has glitter bombs, so I could probably do that. Um, for now though... They're both poisoned. So I'm gonna use... I'll use Double Smack here. And then we'll inflame Cody and that'll ignite him and he'll start taking extra damage. Silicone Slash. 
gave us a blast coding. Okay. Yeah, so their plan is to resonance because that'll knock out the monster immediately. Pretty effective strategy. I, I, I definitely see what he's going for here. Um, and the problem is they're faster. So, I don't think swapping out will get rid of the resonance. But I don't think I want to... Yeah, I think I'll keep Gooby Tooby going for now. Um, we'll see if we can knock out Apocalypse. I don't expect to, but this is fine. Uh, we'll stack up in flame damage here. Oh good, it chose to attack the wrong one, but it still knocked it out nonetheless. Okay, I gotta be careful though. This won't knock out Apocalypse, but it'll at least get it, at least get it low. And it looks like we're back to being normal to, uh, electric type now. Yep, cool. Lotad is gonna come in and just wreck them. So, let's see. We'll do another double s- er, I think we're probably good. I'll let double smack happen on Cody. This one will bring the boil to the apocalypse, and that should end it. Unit target flame. You know what's actually pretty spooky? It looks like resonance doesn't go away. But it's fine. We took out his assistant, who was the main person doing the damage to trigger resonance, so I think we're fine. Try and get as much damage off as possible. So we'll use another double smack. And that'll probably miss. I think. We'll conserve AP. So what do you switch out to next? Is the question. You know, I probably could have. I, I actually could have ended this fight if I had used Boil. Unfortunate. Not bad. Not bad. You forced me to use 100% of my power. Oh. Well, not a surprise that he's a Godzilla fan, I guess. And it's a wind type. Okay, so I can probably get a Conductive before I lose Gooby Tooby at the very least. Or I could just heal Gooby Tooby back up and save some time. I think I'm going to do that. Alright, let's use a Rewind on Gooby Tooby. Motad will use Boil this time for sure. Anyway, it would have been kind of lame to miss out what his last Pokemon was. He's got an interesting build. Oh, boy. That's not good. It's gonna... Resonance will take me out on the next turn if I'm unlucky. Or if I'm not fast enough. And I, th I don't think I'm fast enough to survive this. So I'm probably just gonna have to let uh, Motad get... Uh, get knocked out. But let's at least do as much damage as we can do before that happens. Of course, Gooby Tooby miss, which is not ideal. But yeah. That's fine. We sack him, but we, uh, let's bring in Lemonade. I think now we just kind of knock him down a fair bit. High school dart will lower his accuracy. And unit target is worn off so I can actually have accuracy. Even if this misses, we have the win because he'll uh, attack and move his HP to burn. Alright, there we go. That's the final Ranger Captain. Iantha not included. What? What? How did I lose? Uh, hack the planet, defeat Captain Cody. Uh, I mean, I intended to lose. This was just a test for you, after all. And you pass. Congratulations, or whatever. And we get Clitterbomb. Uh, Don't get any ideas that you want on purpose, you hear? If I was going all out, you wouldn't stand a chance. Quest update. Take me on. Meet with Ranger Leader Iantha to let her know you've trained with all the Ranger Captains. Cool. Alright, that's a pretty big milestone in the game completion, I would say. Oh, there's something over here. What's... I found a secret cave. Cold fusion activates whenever anyone fuses. Reduces the fusion's HP by 20% of its max HP and causes it to flinch. 
considering I have encountered maybe like one other team that has used fusion, I am not convinced that that is in any way particularly beneficial to my cause. All right, let's rest up. Mm. The popular establishment, the Gramophone, it does not sell ale, correct? But instead this coffee? That's right. Mm -hmm. And the people of your time consume this coffee in great quantities? Perhaps too much. Enlightening. I wish you experienced the coffee as the good people of Harbortown do. As such, I have acquired a flask of this beloved beverage, a gift from Clemence. I like that she also has a, uh, a uh, Cinnabon. So what is your verdict? Mm. It is a hearty drink. The appeal is clear to huh. me. And as for this sugared pastry she also gave me so kindly, what would you call this? It's a cinnamon roll. <gasps> the flavors, the sweetness. And yet it has gone so quickly, a pure and fleeting joy. Good night, sweet roll. So this was a, this was a success then. Yes. Yes, I would say so. <laughs> Cute. Um, fusions you form with viola now have 15% added strength. Uh, we, we've made cinnamon rolls together. Actually, or actually, I guess, I think we made one set together, but you actually made them first by yourself while I was away for the holiday, I think. Um, back when we were in school and, and uh, not quite living together, but basically living together because I would just be at your, uh, at your apartment all the time. <laughs> Mostly for studying. And then pretty much everything else that wasn't studying was video games. Or, co or learning to cook together, honestly. There was a lot of learning to cook together. Mount Whirl Caves. Alright. Presumably there will be some new monsters in here. But... Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, hey. Fusion. Alright, I see... Okay, it's Rat, Cassell, and Zeus. Alright, this must be a new... I don't know about Zeus, but it must be the evolved or the remastered form of uh, Sparkton. So it's a plastic electric type, which means you will be a bad matchup for Gooby Tooby. So let's swap you out to plastic and plastic and lightning. Um, no one really has a good matchup against you, so I'm just going to do Don Bonavin so he gets ta taunted, and I can deal with that. But on the other hand, Inflame will make you poison, and then we can ignite you. Ooh, you use damage roll. Let's... Wow. Wow, that was your damage for a 13. And it can go up to 20. Okay, that's a little spooky. Um... Huh. I expected Bonavin to last longer than this. Well, we'll get what damage we can, and we'll try and ignite you. Hurricane. Oh boy. This guy's a bit of a threat. <laughs> Alright, let's get the damage over time going as quick as possible. Man, these, uh... These late game fusions do not mess around. Alright, here's the plan. We'll have to do our... We'll, we'll treat this as if this is an Archangel, so... We're gonna do our air wall gimmick. And hope that it doesn't have anything that can gimmick us back. And then we'll inflame it to get more burn damage off. Shoot, I could get another hurricane because it's a fusion. Okay. Right, hurricane hurricane hits through walls. So hmm. not ideal. I probably switch out. He does have a he in theory does have electric type moves, but I think lo fusing Lotad with Lemonade is probably the way to go. And I'm gonna have Jeff use Dodge on this turn, switch out to Lotad, and then I'll probably fuse these guys together and spam Boil because it'll start using Hurricane here, and that's gonna hit us through our our walls anyway. So yeah, let's fuse. Jeff and Viola's hearts act as one. Actually, maybe I just go out, just go right off and use fusion power because it's got a huge bit of damage and it gives us parry stance. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Fusion power it is. This will give it multi-target, but there's only one target, so that's fine. Oh, good. Our wall will protect us from that at least. It looks like damage wall or uh, damage roll does do electric type moves, so I have to be a little careful about that. But I think we'll be able to take it out here. So let's go ahead and boil it. 
Nice. Okay. Okay, so that's Zeus Strike. Okay. So we need to take out a take out Rat Ratkasel first because that's not um, part of our interests here, so. Guess we just keep hitting him with the boil. Zeus Strike is the bigger threat, but I I think yeah, we focus on this. The problem is if Zeus Strike uses an electric type move on us, we're gonna get like we'll, we'll get both conductive. We'll, we'll double stack. Yeah, well, yeah, a double stack of conductive. So at least it's not too different damage over time. So that would have been worse off for us. Uh, so I, I think we're okay. We'll just again focus down Rat Cassell. Uh, that crit mattered. It saved us a hit. That's gonna lower our accuracy, which is unideal, and froze us. So we skip our turn, and it gets a damage roll off on us. Okay. I don't want to infuse because I like this song. Unfortunately, we're gonna let it happen. Okay. Oh, I should have healed before I did this. Oh well. Um, I can make Leaf Wall happen. So I think I'm gonna have Jeff use Dodge, and we'll use Plant Wall on Jeff as well. And that, between those two things, that should hopefully keep him alive. Ah, oh, but I didn't have enough HP. Okay. Um. We'll use a rewind on Lotad. Do I want to use Jeff's turn or... Yeah, I want to use... I want to use Jeff's turn for this so that I can have Lotad use the Leaf Wall. Oops, I healed the wrong one. What am I doing? Oh no. Well, alright. Well, I just messed, it messed up. I guess we heal him back up to full two then. <laughs> oh well. I think my lack of sleep is starting to show a little bit. Conductive will be a problem now because I'll take hits no matter what I do. Um, oof, that adds up. Oh boy. Okay, I, I do need to get rid of this guy ASAP, so... I think we're gonna set Jeff to record for the chrome tape. And we'll have you do a boil, and if this guy's any like his pre-evolution, this should knock his HP down pretty hefty. Hopefully, we'll see. Please don't attack Jeff. Okay, good. So we only have to worry about conductive damage, which will probably actually knock out Lotad. Or not. Okay, we're good. And that didn't somehow lower our chance of catching him. Alright, so Boyle should knock him out. Yeah, there we go. So I think... Perfect. Alright, we got him. Cool. And there's our new monster, Zoo Strike. Two so strikes often compete with each other in combat, and the clashes of their lightning bolt arms amongst the clouds are indistinguishable from thunderstorms. Pretty much mostly speed with some bulk. Okay. Oh, I forgot to nickname him. Alright. Well, we'll have to do some nicknames at the end of the episode again. And we got AP Donate. Cool. Whew, okay, that was just a chest. Okay, that was kind of spooky. I'm... I'm gonna go heal up. Oop, uh, saved it. Yeah, there's a campfire right outside. I may as well heal up. Oh, or not. <laughs> I have a 0% chance of evading this. Unfortunate. Alright, I guess we have to take him out then. This couldn't possibly go poorly. Let's switch out to Lemonade here. Which isn't a good switch in, but it'll... It has more HP. And as long as I get Conductive off of Gooby Tooby, they'll both die on the next turn, pretty much, I'm sure. Assuming I can land a hit. Okay. Never mind, they're, they're, both, they're both just gonna be gone. That's fine. We'll do Battery just to seal the deal. Thankfully, they're just as inaccurate as I will be if I had gotten the chance to attack them, so... We're all good. We're all good. This is fine. There we go. Alright, another victory. Alright, let's heal up. 
Rest. Mm. Tell me, what is the name of the monstrous form you wear in battle? Gooby Tooby? Mm -hmm. It suits you in a curious way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Pogo Johnson's ready to remaster. All right, let's see what he becomes. Remaster your tape into a more powerful form. You got it. Robin Dam. I actually really like the design on this one. Obviously Robin Hood inspired with like Legos or something, but um, yeah, I, I like the color, I like the design, I like the silly little bow with the suction cup arrow. Robin dams are kept sh are keen shots with their plastic bows and arrows, and are able to accurately strike a target with a suction cup arrow from 300 meters out. They pride themselves on their keen aim and keener sense of justice. Wow, that's quite some ranged attack actually. There are a few monsters I've seen peak above 200. Well, as cool as that is, um, I don't, I doubt he's gonna have another evolution. So we're back to storage for you. All right, who else looks like they could evolve into something we have yet to see? We talked about Maskatoy. He's probably next, but let's see anything else. I assume Boltam evolves into Zeus Strike or uh, This Is Athens, but at the same time, I'm not. I think we saw a different evolution. I think I'll probably take him, honestly. Princeton University, what? Why did I name it that? You know what, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take Boltim. Let's see what he evolves into. And since we're here, let's go let's go get those nicknames done that we missed out on. All right, let's see, who are we missing? Who didn't get a name? Riptera, okay, starting with you. All right, um, Mr. Hands and feet. Nope. Okay, no good. One second, I need to reposition the microphone for this, apparently. So that's no good. Then what about, um... Obviously he's based on Jack the Ripper. Um... Because uh, it looks like all of the Spring Hill evolutions are based on, like, British folklore. Spring Hill is, is something, although I'm not terribly familiar with it. Um... I don't know. Let's see. Um, Turdbert. Alright, this is Turdbert. Don't know why I'm naming him that, but it's fine. Alright, who else is in need of a name? Flapwood sounds like its original name. So we'll just name him to Mr. Waffles. Or I don't want wa Mr. in all my names. We want, uh, we're gonna just name him Waffles. I'm hungry. I want Waffles. <laughs> Marzipan. That one's actually pretty clever. Lembert. Maskatoy needs a name. All right. Long hair, no care. No, um. No hair, no care. There we go. Thinking of Care Bears, no hair, no care. Okay. Let's see, who are we missing now? Zeus Strike, alright. Named after Zeus's um, rather promiscuous <laughs> dealings on Olympus. Polyamor. <laughs> Alright, Claw, we need to name as well. Um, 
Oop, I think I just favored him. Oopsie. Where'd he go? Look at all of these monsters that are accidentally favorited. Popsicle can stay because he's a good boy. But now, where did you go? I've already forgotten who it was. Wow, I, I have really bad short-term memory issues, honestly. Faraclaw, there we go. All right, check tape, rename. Um, all right. Let's name you. Anemic Sushi. Anemic Sushi, perfect. All right, I think that's it for now. All right, back to the game. So we beat the captain. We just have to uh, conquer the summit. Here we go. Please make sure I actually healed. Cool. All right, good. All right. Whoa, saved it. <laughs> Glad I touched that loading stone before I uh, loading zone before I just fell to my death there. Speaking of falling to your death, goodbye, Dominoth. Oh, that's how I was supposed to do that. Funny about that thing. Uh, that's not how I did it. Alright, so this looks like how I climb the mountain, but not how I... Well, let's go to the right first and see what's over there, I guess. So here, running water. Alright, whoop. Well, that was almost a tragedy, but instead... Could... Look at the stupid legs. Jumbo Terracooka. Alright, so it's just a fusion between two Terracookas, I believe. Alright, let's see. How to deal with you. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna double smack you, turn you to glass, but this time I'll switch you to Lemonade so we can actually trigger resonance to happen. We do Let's switch you out to Bonovan so that I can keep us topped off on HP. And then I just focus on doing spit damage. But do we we'll bite if you're just oh wait, no, I don't I don't want mm, Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So we'll just heal with Life Absorb and keep up the wind damage here. I'll save, I'll save up my AP, honestly, because I'm going to break it with, with uh, just Spit alone. Should be fine. Alright, one more Life Absorb to keep us topped off on HP. And a Spit. And then next turn we should have... Only one to deal with, honestly, because the other one will break, I think. Or, let, let's see what happens here. Medic overload, okay. There we go, alright. And now, we give him the old one too, and a hurricane to go. Actually, here, let's... Let's nurse Viola back to health, and she can hurricane this turn. May as well top her off. Free AP, uh... AP that's used wise, uh, use our AP well where possible. And now we can easily knock this guy out with minimal consequence. Okay, so we got a fusion, but nothing super new, so a little disappointing, but it's fine. And we got some materials as always. So what happens when I encounter one of these? Oh, you got some big things, but I've got both of you, so I'm not too interested. Can I flee? A hundred percent? Cool. Do you guys have anything fancy for me? A cauldron and a cryosphere. Cryosphere. Okay, that's actually a really clever name. I like it. Okay, and... 
so yeah, we gotta catch both of these. So that gets a little sc uh, sketchy. I guess let's focus on Cryo Shear first, because I know that one's prone to doing a lot of damage. Um, so double smack. I'm just gonna go for the report right off the bat and see where we get with it. Inevitably, both of them are going to attack Viola because they advantage, have advantage against her, but let's see what we can get away with. That'll give us a solid, like, 80 to 90% chance, I think. Oh, no, just straight up to 100. Cool. Okay, there's the 80%. And we got it. Okay. So what am I going to name you? Cryo Shears are mostly seen wielding two blades formed entirely of ice that they use for offensive purposes. Their most common method of attack is to use the blades like two halves of an enormous pair of scissors. Alright, very fast, very melee attack. Cool. Alright, what are we going to name you? Um, Bashful... Bob. Bashful Bob. Okay. Welcome to the team. Special Bob was put in storage. Now we just have to knock out Cryo Shear and start working on Cauldron. Or Cauldron, if you will. Um, I think I'll have Gooby just bite him, and then... I doubt Inflame would knock out Cauldron, but I want to play it safe, so I'll just do some low-level damage to start. I forgot these guys have a uh, get hit by fire type attack and get buffed for it. Yeah, it's like crit, it's rough. Alright, since Scooby Tubies is not likely going to be hitting very well against this guy, I am going to use Jeff to catch. And we'll do a Pustle Bomb here, which will hopefully add a whole bunch of damage over time, chip damage this turn, which should add up to something decent. I think they chose to, to attack Pombadier, so that won't lower our catch chance any further. And Pustule Bomb did like nothing, but at least it's poisoned. And a 54% chance is reasonable for the reporting field. Okay. Um, we are hurting yet again, and melee attacks are unideal in this setting. Well, I'm going to stick to the same plan. The speed, and down, the speed down on Pombadier is a bit rough, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Pombadier switch out to Lemonade, and we'll just depend on the catch chance going up with um, the damage dealt by the Ignite and Poison damage. Unfortunately, it chose the wrong target, which makes our odds perpetually worse. 24% chance. Not, not great. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? I'm still going to have Jeff try to record. And I'm going to have Viola use the double air wall. And that should probably protect us. Because I, 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 I expect, yeah, Lemonade to be faster. Here we go. Alright, we should be plenty protected, and multi-strike even if it uses that. Um, there's a reasonable chance that I can tank it. Right, we got it, we got it. Alright, Cauldron. What are we going to name you? Cauldrons are living cooking pots, constantly brewing a delicious broth in their base and bodies. While it's not very mobile, it, while, while it's not very mobile, they are able to turn their bodies in order to shoot streams of the streaming, steaming hot broth at anyone who may approach for a taste without invitation. Alright. We are gonna name you... Pickle... Pickle Stew. Alright, Pickle Stew. One more, mo one more monster to the collection. I think we're almost at 100 out of 120. Pretty crazy how close we are to beating the game in terms of catch log. Okay, I would like to avoid melee attacks, but I just want this over with, so 
here. What I'll do is I'll swap. That means I skip that turn, and then I can just use Spit to knock this guy out. There we go. Alright. Definitely took a fair bit of damage, but we're, we're making our way up. Or, or around. Oh, there's still more to the right. Interesting. Oh! Secret tunnel! Something, something, something. Secret tunnel! Okay. Well, that's cute. I guess that's how you're supposed to get here normally, and how to how you normally find Captain Cody. Actually, no, you can still fall down here just as easily. Well, since we're passing by, we may as well heal up. Hmm. It has occurred to me that this island brings together unlikely bedfellows. People from countless walks of life who may have never crossed path otherwise become patriot com become compatriots when lost alongside each other on this lonely island. You and I would certainly not have met under any other circumstance. I'm going to assume bedfellows implies what it sounds like it implies, but... I don't know. Maybe it just means people who sleep around each other because they're traveling together like camping, you know? I don't know. Any new monster for Jeff? Nope, nothing new. Ooh, you guys are really high level. I might not be able to uh, escape from you. So what happens if two magnets appear on the same field? Does it, is it just a random chance to, uh... Who knows? Anyway, let's head up here. That, uh, you, that Spooky Ona is after us, so let's get out of here. Oh, for context, Spooky Ona, or Yuki Ona, rather, what Spooky Onas are based on, Yuki means snow, Ona means woman. It literally just means snow woman. Alright, we're at the peak. Let's see what's up here. An archangel? But I thought we fought all of them already. We definitely fought enough of them to unlock the, uh... The next clue, but okay. What's what was our archangel strategy? It was this. Not what I was expecting to see up here, honestly. Mm. Another one of these old and curious places. I would not like to be here longer than is necessary, Jeff. All right. Custom starter. Chance to automatically use the next move in the list for zero AP at the start of the battle. The chance is reduced in proportion to the normal move's AP cost. Hey, Traffic Crab. Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening Platform A for you to travel. Now what can I do for you? Still nothing. Alright, let's see what you have to offer. Right, nothing new. Ooh, guess we're fighting this one out, unfortunately. Alright, we'll do the Icicle Dart and hope that freezes and flinches them, and then we'll try and do the, uh... I'll talk to Cryo Shear this turn. Because I'm not convinced, uh... Okay, I would have attacked first. I wasn't sold that I was going to. So I wanted to play it safe. But now they'll be flinched next turn, which is fine. Wait a second, actually. Yukiona was a water type there. I thought Yukiona was a nice type to start. I wonder if that's a bootleg. I might want to cash that just to play it safe. Cause I would I, I mean, I don't see any reality where Yuki on it isn't, or Spooky on it isn't a uh, ice type, you know. I'll spit on this turn just to deal the damage, and then I'll uh, inflame the Cryo Shear and get rid of that quickly. Icebreaker is a scary move. Alright, so we'll do Icicle Dart and we'll spit on Yukiona. Oh, never mind. Pomadeer's just done, done and dusted. I'm likely mistaken, but I, I'm reasonably confident she was a water type at the start. Because why would she have ice-type coating now if she wasn't? 
Oh, you know what? I know what happened. I used my bullet dash and it melted both of them. She's still she's not a bootleg. I'm just I'm just dumb. Alright, well Pombadier got knocked out, so I guess let's just bring in Lotad and uh I'll just do the respool here. I don't want to travel all the way back down just to heal. Um, Sonic Boom and Boil. And that should knock her out pretty. Well, okay then. I just got really unlucky, I guess. Oh no, she has evasion up. Okay, fair enough. Um, still gonna try for, try for the Boil again. Man. RNG is brutal sometimes. And now I have accuracy down, so I'm never gonna land a hit with this one. Can I land a single hit? Oh my goodness, this game is brutal sometimes. There is no winning. I am fighting this Archangel in this episode, even if it goes long. I don't care. I want to feel like I've made more progress than just filling out the Pokedex, you know? Alright, I am changing how I'm sitting a little bit. Hopefully, that'll be a little bit more comfortable for me. Oh, yeah! Hooray, I finally landed a hit on the lowest damage option I had available. Should have just used Leech, honestly. Unlucky, man. I know this is gonna miss. It's not gonna stop me from using it, but I know it's gonna miss. That went really poorly. It's fine. It's it's fine. Alright, let's see what you are too before I heal up. Two cryo cheers. Alright, hopefully I actually can run this time, because if I can't I'm gonna have a problem. Ugh. Well, at least it's giving me an excuse to save up for fusion. Alright, these are water types, so they shouldn't be able to break my air wall. Do that and we'll use a rewind to heal Jeff so that he can actually use the air wall. I can deal with speed down, that's not a big deal. Now both of these are probably gonna use multi stomach this turn, which means I'm gonna take damage. So I'm gonna stack another air wall. And then we start stacking uh Batter or conductive on this on these guys. All right, cool. They let us stack up the uh, the air walls pretty nicely then. All right, so that one will be knocked out next turn if I attack the other one with any sort of electric damage. So I think we're fine here. So uh, we'll just we'll just spin. I don't want to turn them back into uh, ice types. Or actually, I guess it doesn't matter because. Uh, battery will still cause conductive on them, so yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. At least it blocked one hit, I guess. And realistically speaking, Gooby Tooby takes everything out except for this guy on this turn, so I think we're fine. Oh, it didn't actually end him, so I need Ice Cold Dark to hit. Well, at least it hit one of them. We'll see if it gets the- oh, it hit both! Wow. I'm, su I'm honestly surprised. With how my luck with R with uh, accuracy has been lately, I was not expecting this to land. <laughs> 911 on our uh, experience that round. That's funny. All right, that mostly filled up our fusion gauge. No, I have nothing I want to do with you. Actually, you know what? We unlocked a fast travel here. We're gonna we're just gonna go to the Gramophone Cafe really quick. I can't fast travel here. Can I... I can't fast travel here yet. Okay, never mind. And we are going to use our items. I guess we can only unlock the fast travel once we have beaten the Archangel, which, you know, fair. Alright, Lemonade's full HP, and now Pombadier is too. Alright. So we'll do our usual Giant Slayer build, and hope that they... There's, a, there's actually a reasonable chance. That accursed feeling he is here again, Jeff. It leaves a, a well of dread within me. Two step further feels like wading through an ocean. There's a reasonable chance that this Archangel will have some sort of ice dia image and it'll kill our air wall in one hit, which would be a pretty huge problem, but we'll make it work. All right, what have you got? Oh, what a sound. A 
Another spirit which defies all rational thought. I can barely keep my gaze upon it. Looks like something a kid would have drawn, honestly. Truth lies. Your fledgling kind cares so much about such trivial concepts. Reality is not true. Embrace ignorance. Yeah. Sounds like something a kid would say. Folly and, ignorance, uh, folly and ignorance are the common curses of mankind. Both are already plentiful, spirit. You do not understand. Let me awaken you from your false perceptions of truth and lies. Archangel Babalith, Tower of Ignorance. Amateur zoologists observe 120 different species. So apparently the archangels count as monsters. But wait, does that mean we've seen every monster in the game then? I think there were 128. Or maybe 100. I don't think it was flat, a flat 120. Well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna hope this is a strategy that still works. And we'll go ahead and taunt. We don't have enough fusion meter to fuse just yet, which is a bit of an issue, but I think we'll be okay. Crystal lens, that converts people to... Oh, hey, it can use bad joke. Bad joke failed, though. Alright, since I don't have enough fusion meter yet, there is a bit of a problem to that. For now, we'll spam air wall. Oh, okay, bad joke failed because it's taunted. I almost want to not taunt it because I want to know what its bad joke will be. But for now, let's, let's uh, get a second stack of air wall up and hope that it lasts. Wonderful seven, okay. Okay, oh, wow, it burst that wall immediately. All right, well, I'm just gonna focus on dodging then. Um, Eh, let's do damage. Or, eh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and reapply the walls, honestly. And then we'll have Pombadier save up for Pustule Bomb. I should've taunted, though. Brick Blast. That'll break the walls a little bit, because they multi-hit. We're fine, though. Okay, we're almost at full fusion. The damage we took was helpful. The damage we deal should also help. Um, I'm just going to save up AP for now, I guess. And then you will use Pushle Bomb to start actually getting some damage off. Because we're, we haven't really made any progress on this boss's HP bar yet. Crumble. That sounds like something that would destroy a wall. That's unfortunate. And I think its damage scales with... Uh, why should you never eat sand the time? It's too time consuming. Ha! Huh. <laughs> no effect. Okay, um. Oh, it is going to uh, do its thing again. Uh, or it has full AP. So we're gonna air wall one last time. I know it's kind of useless in the long run, but um, we need to survive whatever hit it's about to bring on us. And I'll use an inflame here. Hopefully this doesn't break walls too. True illumination. Oh, I didn't have, okay. Ooh, I got lucky there. What's a landkeeper's favorite hot drink? Property. Oh my goodness, Kiwi, I found the best move in the game. Oh boy. Bad times were ahead for all of us, Kiwi. I have unlocked the best move in the game. I didn't realize how good it was until until now. Um, okay. I think with all that said and done, though, let's switch Low Tad out for Lemonade, because I think he'll be able to do more damage with Boil. And we'll have uh, Pom Bomb, or not Pom Bomb, uh, Pombadier. We'll heal this one up this turn. I also got very lucky. I did not have multi-target anymore, so blocking that uh, that attack was just lucky. He chose the right one. What does Traffic Crab put on its traffic toast? Traffic jam. Ah. All right. There is definitely a dad on the dev team. No questions asked. All right. Let's let's boil this turn and Pushle Bomb this turn. That'll add up some damage pretty quickly. And I'll make sure that I fuse for an elemental wall the turn it gets full AP. Wonderful 7 is going to be inconvenient. 
so that's gonna do some sort of status damage. But AP drain? Oh, okay. AP drain. AP drain. I can deal with confusion is a problem. Why did the twirly gig get promoted? She was outstanding in her field. <laughs> She's a scarecrow-looking thing. It's funny, Kiwi. I swear. All right. So like all archangels, they have neutralized at fifty percent. That's that's fine. We can reapply the status ailments. It honestly may be better to fuse now. <sighs> Probably not. Right, we'll boil. And we'll spit. Yeah, I wanted to keep making bad jokes. The crit burn is always nice. Brick blast. This little hurt. Alright, thankfully it only hit low tad twice. We got lucky there. False illumination. What? Oh, good. We're both confused now. But that knocked it out. Okay, so we win anyway. We're confused, but apparently we won. Sadly, no fusion on that one, though. Shrapnel damages the target each time it transforms, and Copper Chop. Your stamina has increased by 7%. You can now glide for 8 seconds. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the to the, to the blah, 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 blah. to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the east, your wings must fly to the place only I have known, for that is where my chambers lie. Halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward paths shall meet. Where trees and dirt paths can be found, where grass is fresh beneath your feet. A tree stump stands in a lush land between two walls where you must be. I know where this is. I've seen it before. It had a treasure chest nearby. At the place you must now stand, run with flames surrounding thee. Unite this act and its location to show you the final station. Heed my song and find the place that will reveal infinite space. Okay. There is one truth now clear. Tower of Ignorance. Defeat Babalith. There is now one truth now clear to me. Or there is one truth now clear to me. I have been bested. Hey, buddy, looks like you're losing a fight here. Why don't you come with me? <laughs> my new recruits really are a rowdy bunch. Fortunately, I've been working on my managerial skills. We're going to foster such a positive working atmosphere. Okay. Mm. That spirit had little sense left in its words. Perhaps it's defeated our hands shall humble it. If this Aleph were anything but a coward, we would have we would confront ugh, he would confront us directly. Instead, he exits the scene with great urgency. Alas, I must confess, I believe I have sol I believe I have solved the riddle that has perplexed you so. Let us meet at this location. Oh, huh. okay, they're just gonna tell us where to go. It's kind of a little lame. I would have liked to have figured it out on my own, but oh well. That's fine. All right, but I think before we go uh, pursue wherever Aleph takes us, we have to at least pursue Iantha's challenge, which I presume we're going to be battling her next. But with all that said, this episode's gone quite a bit long. We've gotten a bunch of new monsters. We beat our final Archangel and our final Captain. This game is wrapping up pretty soon, Kiwi. It's going to be sad to let it go, but hopefully there's some post-game that'll be fun to explore, and obviously we still need to explore Eugene and Meredith and, and Felix's stories, as well as the rest of Viola's. Um, so, I think we still got a little bit to go. Oh, cool. We're, we're about to get another progression on hers, though. In my efforts to learn about the many realms outside of Harbortown, I have acquired some documents of great significance. Are you doing research? Yes. Yes, my time here on New World has shown me that my understanding of the world I lived in was but a grain of sand in an endless ocean. Truly, there are many realms like the ones I hail from, such as your own, dear Jeff. I asked friend Meredith for her aid, and she provided me this tome. I think that's a horror fiction book. I don't think you're going to learn anything from it. <laughs> wow. Indeed, I have concluded that the accounts within are imaginary. However, I must your, draw your attention to Chapter 5, much of which describes effective ways to slay the living dead. <laughs> not fight monsters on a regular basis, perhaps there is more that can be learned from this document than you may have first assumed. Nevertheless, I think Meredith let me this book simply out of love of the macabre. It was an enjoyable read. Perhaps I shall request more books from her. Come, I wish to put my newly acquired lessons to practice. Alright, only one more to go. Alright then. Well, with all that said, Kiwi, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and if you're awake, I hope it's helping you fall asleep. If you're
you're asleep, I hope you're sleeping well. I love you, and I will see you in the next one.